It's quarter past 11 in the morning. You're talking about a serial killing prostitute. <laughs> a serial killing prostitute. Welcome <laughs> <up> to sales. <laughs> Margaritas with a couple senoritas Running, running through the city in some brand new Adidas Sipping, sipping on drink Rolling on reefer Holla, holla with Khalifa <laughs> So we're back with Harris and we're about to sort out this We're doing a bit of a semi tame today because tomorrow I've got a cool ass job contracting with company called Slaters which specializes in suits and I am peaky blindering that bitch up. They wanted a really nice slick suit and I was like, mm, get the bloody guns Tommy. So, well people have been asking what the heck it is every time we do this. We just explain a little bit what it is. Go, 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 go. <laughs> right, okay. That was really, really homoerotic that you <laughs> But you don't look at it. Yeah, man it up. Lex has recently been having. Is a disconnected, disconnected side parting cut as well. Past the normal parting. There's my right. normal parting. The we went another centimeter in, and that keeps the hair that away. The length on the top as well. Yeah, we're still growing that. And it's still disconnected underneath. So it's similar to how you used to have it about a year and a half ago. Yeah, bringing back that Viking um, bringing look. Bringing back that Viking look. Maybe, maybe in just a few days, weeks, we'll be bringing back the entire Viking. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Here's the before. And So there we go, we are all trimmed, cut, preened, pruned, thanks to this man. <laughs> Ready to take on this brand new shoot It's completely outside of the normal realms This is something I'm doing well outside of fitness This is all about fashion I'm really looking forward to this I'm gonna t I spoke before in other videos about trying new stuff Don't pigeonhole yourself Now I'm starting to reach out and already things are coming my way In those avenues that I'm really going to be enjoying doing The new businesses, new ventures, new ideas Woo! So with that said, I've got to get in, pick up my suit Head to Manchester Get to the hotel and check in. So another day, another hotel, another Malmaison. Should be sponsored by these people by now, but they do do good hotel rooms. Just had a meal, met everyone, met the rest of the crew, met the guy from Slaters, which is the suit company here in Britain. It's a huge, huge company, and he's the one who's kind of spearheading this uh, campaign that we're doing together. Met the other guys who are all involved in the campaign, who you'll have seen on Insta stories if you've been there. They helped me with my riddling tonight. If you're not on that, on Instagram every day, on the stories, I put up a riddle every day for you guys to solve. And also there's the vacuum challenge going on. We'll cover some of that tomorrow morning, if I get up in time. So tomorrow we're gonna go and film this video for this national campaign that's going on for basically suiting up and suiting up with confidence that's custom and fitted and suited to you and your personality. So no more of this just buying something because you think you should. The opportunity is out there to do a little bit of you in every single aspect. Everything that you do should represent you. Don't try and be anybody else. This is the whole, I think there's a good vibe of this going on around at the moment. Also, on another big cool thing, Social Chain, which is this pioneering kind of online social media engine. They come in and help brands create these campaigns. That's what they're in charge of. And then they, they help them drive it through the right channels to get obviously the most interaction possible. Well, sometimes, sometimes they do crazy shit like inventing a 16 year old phenom footballer that's gonna be assigned to one of the major teams in England. And the dude didn't even exist. They created the story, created it just to show what they could do. It got into national papers and everyone was hailing this 16 year old phenom as being the savior of this Premier League football team. The human being didn't even exist. So we're gonna be speaking to them. We're gonna see their offices, which are kind of a bit like Googly, I think, a bit of a Google office. We may well get a chance to actually work alongside them to show you guys how you can get into this social media marketplace, how to strategize, how to be as effective as you can possibly be. So you don't need to be panicking by not knowing where to start. Cause fingers crossed, I got you guys hooked up. Right, it's late, I gotta be up at 7 a.m. It's like, just got midnight now. I'm moisturized, I'm clean, I do my hair in the morning, I'm showered, more importantly. And I'm gonna hit my magic vape pen from LA and I'm gonna see you guys in the morning. Zzz, na night. -na. 
I'm in my element Money getting bigger, that's the evidence They wanna see me fall, I promise you I never slip I'm on the grind, do it for the dead presidents Dead presidents I'm in my element So here we are, we're on location and this is known as Manchester House uh, which is a cool kind of bar nightclub area so the premise of, of this this campaign is it starts from like the morning through the day and each individual one of us we take a different part of the day and it's like kind of showing um the growth and success through the day of people aspiring to do what they love kind of thing and so i'm the final guy at the end of the day where we chill out relaxing kind of basking in the victory of our day in a nice cool ass bar not the, not the best view but we are pretty high. Addy, Hello. look at that, remembered your name, told you I would. <laughs> yeah. So, Addy's been looking after me since the entire time, came oh. to the suit fittings and helped me pick out the tie. Yeah, so she was the defining factor in choices <laughs> today. So. I mean, it was all you, <laughs> it was not me. <laughs> so, literally now, I've got to do something which I don't say very often, but I'm gonna get my makeup done. Are you makeup lady? I am makeup lady. <laughs> so this is what we're using to make apparently a man look pretty. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't take quite as much. It doesn't take as much? Ooh, ooh, he'll be a compliment in the morning. That's all we need. Right, um, yeah. I don't want to look like I belong in birdcage though. If possible. Maybe a little flare. Just some extensions on the eyelashes. Oh, absolutely. It's a bit glitter. Oh, absolutely. Gonna make pink and purple. <laughs> Hang some disco balls for you. <laughs> That's the evidence They wanna see me fall I promise you I never slip I'm on the grind Do it for the day Woo. Even though this is like a, a campaign designed for them to sell the suits They've really let us personalise And obviously I've gone a little bit Country bumpkin Bit of peaky Bit of three piece peaky blinders So um I'm gonna get this on now. We're gonna start getting ready to shoot. Everybody's getting all pretty. So we've got like makeup artists, the designers, some of the like background extras and stuff. Coffee is here. So now I'm gonna take my pants off in front of a lot of people and get ready. So these are the shoes we went with for the suit. Pretty stoked about them. Look at those bad boys. Oh, yes. In three, two, one, go. camera than myself. <laughs> yeah. I was like, as if you as trusted you me with that. <laughs> oh, no. The camera! That. It's really cool, so we're creating like an over the kind of city image kind of landscape thing going on here. And my ass is not sweaty at all. We go for last eight, five, four, three, two, one, go. They actually, whenever I come anywhere, they dumb their names down to a single letter in a hotel, then I'll remember. They're very kind. <laughs> As well, I'd just like to point out, not actually whiskey, dirty beer. Dirty beer. So yes, we're at the social chain offices, working very hard. So, bar the slides, the bar, the cool stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so bar the cool slides, the office, the, the trees inside, 
This is Tom, who's head of influencer talent. He's gonna tell you a little bit about what this company represents. Go. Oh, so where to begin? Um, no, let's sum it up. Social Chain likes to think of their employees first, so we are all about making sure that everyone feels valued in the workplace, everyone is achieving the best of their goals, everyone is putting their life and the work balance in the best, best way possible, rather than kind of people just being worked into the ground and worked and worked and yeah. worked. It's all about making sure that you've got the right balance, you're happy in how you're working and you're getting the best out of everything that you can do. And that is literally what you want your life and the job environment to be. So whether you work in home, office, wherever, that's what you want because that's what's going to make you productive. I'm being here, there's like dogs running around, people are smiling, joking, it's flexi times. Flexi time. in and out. People want to come in and work and that's the other thing. So whatever you do in life, as long as you want to do it, you'll do the best. Thank you very much, it's been an absolute pleasure today. Thank you very much. I'll see you again it's soon. Great, yeah. Right, on to the next part of whatever the hell this vlog's going to be. So after a hard day, you got to have a meal for a man. With my boy Raph. <laughs> <laughs> this is the, the brains behind this. So we got that double double on that black bun. What's this bun? Hot as Hellman's. Charcoal. Hot so as Hellman's. Yeah. Sponsored by Hellman's. Hot as Hellman's. Double chicken bun. I'm going to sit and enjoy this. We're then going to go watch some Predator. Chill out with the boys. It's been a good day. Long day. Well worth it. I'll catch you guys in the morning. <laughs> Okay, so we're back home and I'm gonna finish this vlog off with a little bit of details about what I've been doing on Insta Stories every single day, and that is the vacuums. Now, what are vacuums? Vacuums are an ab training technique that help work transverse abdominal walls. They basically, they help work the internal core muscles that we often neglect. Now, if you think these are your abs here, these are the ones we see, these are, you know, your six pack here. Behind that is a load more muscles. So when you see these bulging bellies, it's usually because of weak muscles behind. If we train these muscles behind, what happens is as they tighten up, they pull that stomach in flat. See what I mean? So pull flat. So if we help work those internal core muscles, what we're doing is helping to allow our stomach to stay flat in it just its normal stable position because we're training that weakened area. So here's a quick breakdown of what I'm doing. Every single one and get up. Empty stomach, it's easier. Don't try and do this with food in your stomach. Get up, wake up, and then we're gonna do 10 sets. But one set is basically one rep. But you're holding it for between three to 10 seconds. Obviously you're gonna get progressive. Start trying to hold it just three to five seconds. Then you're gonna build up to holding it 10 seconds, 10 times. But you're gonna do it 10 times. Take a break between each one of say 15, 20 seconds, maybe 30 and you're really gonna pull in the abs. So you're gonna breathe out, and then you're gonna pull in and up. What we're not doing is breathing in. So this is an anaerobic exercise, effectively. So, every morning, you're gonna start by starting on your hands and knees. Don't try and start this standing up. On your hands and knees, you're gonna bend over, you're gonna blow all the air out, then pull in and up. Pull, not breathe, don't breathe in. So you blow all the air out and then pull in and up. So your starting position is hands and knees. Aim to hold it for three to five seconds. Once you can do 10 seconds, 10 times, then what you're gonna do is progress to where I'm at now. Bent over with your elbows on something like a table or a desk, and then the exact same thing. Once you can do 10 of 10 of these, then we progress to palms down and stepping in, and then eventually hands on thighs, and then the goal, and this is gonna take, unless you have a natural ability of doing this, probably months, is to then stand fully upright and be able to do it. So I'm gonna show you where I'm at right now. Excuse the uh, scratches, just got back from the vets. Roxy does not like getting ejections. If you follow me on Insta stories, every morning I'm doing this, palms on a windowsill, super easy. I mean, if you haven't done this before, hands and knees. So palms down, I'm gonna blow. This is me, relax now, tensed. Relaxed. Palms down, blow all the air out. <sighs> now I'm gonna pull in and up, pull in and up. That's what you're thinking, in and up. I'm not breathing in. That is not easy. That's not easy. And you want to be 
the whole time pulling in as hard as you can, really making it work. It's, it, it, it's, it's difficult, it's more difficult than it sounds. But this is a fantastic core exercise. This will help flatten your stomach, it will help tighten your waistline and it'll help build that core stability and could even, even help with postural improvement. So if you've got like a weak lower back, if you've got a bad tendency of having pelvic tilts and things like that, this is a great part of a full rehab process, but this can be a really vital part in helping strengthen that core, getting you concentrating on being upright, keeping your abs engaged. And a lot of times it's lazy abs, lazy habits that we have that cause these problems. So there you go, start that today, give it a go. Follow me on the Insta stories, stay in track, I'm doing this every single fucking morning. I am committing to you guys, because to get the information out to you, I have to be doing it every morning. So me committing to do that, committing to you, helps me commit to myself. A lot of you are sending me your updates on Insta Stories and I will repost a person every single day who's doing well on my own Insta Stories and tag you up to just show a little bit of thank you, a little bit of appreciation. So I hope you've enjoyed this vlog because I'm now going to sign out, but I'm going to let you know that I will do a complete video on the vacuums on how to do them from the ground up, an in-depth video, but I'll try and keep it short and sweet, but break it down so that you understand every part of it. That was just a quick little cap. Also coming, brand new series is on its way and this is going to be all new fucking Viking Lex mentality, I promise you. We're going back to that old school, back to that kick-ass fucking warrior motivation style shit because I like it, you liked it, why the fuck did we stop doing it? So stay tuned, I promise you there's more to come and from this point on, more regular uploads. Plus, maybe a new big house move. Thank you all for watching, make sure to hit that subscribe, like, comment, what else you want to see. I'll catch you in the next video. Boom baby. Tell them bounce if they never seen an ounce of the rod You need one, hit me up, I know who to call I don't do the mall, everything custom Shorty ass fat, yeah she doing lunges